Well, we're live. I know Brendan's not even looking at the screen, but it's okay. We're live on Facebook and on YouTube um, with Cologne Distillery, Brendan Carty, uh, and some guests. So there's some people on here who, at the moment, are lucky enough to have a sample of the new Hungarian Oak 10-year-old uh, bonded experimental series, uh, which came in, or will come, in one of these gorgeous sacks, which I absolutely love. These sacks are absolutely great. But uh, and here's this beautiful bottle of whiskey. So here it's here, and and you can see I've depleted my resources already. So apologies for that. Um, all right, but that plenty of information on this bottle: fifty-five point eight percent alcohol. Um, only three hundred and fifty-six bottles released, and there's a reason for for such a low number, um, and that's probably because we drank some of this uh, during this event here. Yeah, Belfast Whiskey Week. That's when we first tasted it, so uh, I'm going to pour myself a, a healthy wee measure. Um, okay. So, Brendan. Yes. This is your this is your whiskey. We're here to talk about your whiskey. We're we're not here to listen to me, which is which is great. But we've got lots of people on here. Uh, some guys who are involved in the clone cult. Some guys who are involved in the whiskey club. Some guys who are, you know, who who are maybe sampling cologne for the first time, which I think is interesting. You know, this isn't, you know, a, a couple of guys that are on here tonight. This will be the first taste of cologne, so better blow them away. Uh, if not, you're in trouble. You know. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, well, it's good to get a wee mix, a good mix of people in there as well. You know, and uh, I think this one's going to be quite a divisive one. So this is the final series. So we're continuing on with those integrity bottlings. Uh, there's, there's no. Can you hear me all right, Paul? Yeah. I hear you fine. Yeah. I know, but so that, again, no color, no filtration. Never mind chill filtration. Straight from the cask into the bottle, and um, cask strength, no dilution. So beautiful whiskies, and it's a very unique blend. A very, you know, it's that core blend. So it was quite unique. And then we've used it through the series to date. So this is the final one. This is a virgin Hungarian oak cask. Um, Zoltan, the madman himself, uh, sourced this for us and um, bought it lovely cask um because we wanted something very different very punchy and we're aware of what you know virgin wood can do but for this uh we just wanted to get a real strong expression of, of virgin hungarian oak like all of our cask expressions to date it's, it's about massive cask influence i'm trying to complement those those whiskey notes that are already there do you know what take a drink already <laughs> what do you think I had to take a drink. It's very hard not to nose it and then want to drink it. So it's just yeah. got such an inviting nose. Um, very, it's very strong alcohol, Brendan. I'm loving the, the amount of alcohol in this, um, particularly on the nose. You know, it, it comes across as being a strong whiskey. We know that to state, you know, straight away. What's the? I mean, Tim, this. I mean, has there been much difference in in what's happened here between the festival and now? I mean, it's been it's been in the cask a little bit longer. Yeah, the cask a little bit longer. So you're getting more of that cask, almost aggression again. Um, yeah. This hasn't held anything before. So, do you know the way out of American wood, you get wood spice. European oak, you get wood spice. Hungarian, the oak that you get there, you get a different sort of wood spice again. You get vanilla from the Quercus alba. You know, over in the states, for example, for instance, and then the limousine bars to get all those, you know, cask spices, white peppers, uh, like even the virgin acacia that we done. Out of this, I'm getting an explosion of clove, massive clove influence. Um, on the nose, you don't really get as much clove, but as soon as you once you taste yeah. it and you go back to the nose, you're smelling clove massively. But it's funny in that initial nose, you don't really get it. Tiny bit of aniseed almost, but yeah, it's yeah. just an, an for me, it's clove rock with extra cloves. <laughs> Listen, there's going to be a lot of people want to come on and talk to us, so everyone mm. can be patient. And in this environment, we can only have ten people in the chat at any one time. We're going to bring people in. Uh, I want to. I want people's opinion on it. We, we, we've got Brendan here, so I'm going to take Brendan, you know, maybe out of the chat for a couple of minutes, and I'll just individually go around and, and speak to some people because I really want to get people's thoughts. Brendan, what's imp important about this is that you know it is the last one of a series uh, of mm. of what really became something. Uh, monumental uh, out of uh, you know out of your you know distillery because we're, we're we're not expecting this. I remember your initial conversations, which were about we're going to do our own thing. We don't care about anyone else. We don't care about other li liquid. We'll just do it. We'll, we'll, we'll just wait. 
And here you've, you've come out, you've, 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 you've pressed ahead and you've, you know, you've, you've taken on some really good uh, whiskey. You've done some really good experimental stuff with it. Every cast so far has been different and very unique. Like it's, 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 it's hard to put them all together and, uh, you know, and, and, and say they're same or same or likable, you know, that they're like this or like that. They're unique, very unique. And, and for the fact that they all have that core element to them, like they've not been manipulated through the, the you know the, the different um, you know the different quantities very much. Am I right? We've yeah, got that ten have. year old ten year old blend, and yet it's the cask influencing, which has been really good. The cask management has been absolutely brilliant. So, look, Brandon, I'm going to bring in who have we got. We, we should bring in some stars of the show, right? So we've got some guys from um, got some guys from the cult who are involved. So I'm going to try and bring in Mick McGuire just now because we really want to talk about what happened there with the, the competition. So I'm going to try and bring in Mick, if we can. Let's add him to the stream. Okay. Hello, Mick. All right, lads. How's it going? I'm, Mick, I'm is also, <laughs> Mick is also sporting a beard. That's good, Mick. I'm loving yeah, yeah. Beard. Um, as far Try to as describe myself like from that picture, well, to be honest with you. <laughs> So look, we, we, we have a we have a, a group of um, enthusiasts. That's what they are. They're supporting the Cologne Distillery from afar, all over the world. Uh, we've got members from everywhere called the Cologne Cult, and we, we put a wee thing out there to give everyone the the first chance to try this. And all it was was a simple request: take a picture of you and some Cologne um, product. And Mick McGuire, out of all the pictures that we had, Mick McGuire decides to do one naked in the shower. And listen. <laughs> I'm all for I'm all for showering with whiskey, if it you know if it's okay. I'm all right with that. So Mick, what's your thought? Listen, what's your thoughts on this one? What's your thoughts on the Hungarian? One? Yeah, well, I have to be careful. I I, I know Zoltan, so um, you know, I I, I I don't know if I consider him a friend because he's probably listening, and I wouldn't want to. He has his head big enough. So he's uh, he's 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 someone I know. <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it look. It, the same and Paul you kind of hinted at it a few minutes ago it's one thing and I said it to Breton as well when we did the taste and side by side the one great thing about this series they're all I won't say totally different but there's a huge difference within with each of them um, and that's brilliant like for a series of like seven whiskeys it's it's great I think they're all quality everyone has their own favorites and I think this is again is another really good one I, I find it really kind of fresh and spicy a bit it's a, it's quite different again to to any of the others i wasn't really getting that off any of the others and um, so yeah that's that's what i love about it. and it's a, it's a shame it's ending but i suppose you can only get so many different <laughs> whiskeys but um yeah it's yeah, uh it, yeah. it is end it is ending you know and that good point yeah. to make it's the end of the bonded experimental series and that i like that i actually like the fact that we've now got seven releases it's a closed kind of circuit that's it it's done we've we've seen actually what we've got from cologne is a real a, do you know a real eye opening to, to potentially what we could see from their own spirit being manipulated in casks you know that the i suppose the ability to blend which going forward all distillies have to have really you know blends that they need to be thinking about you know can they can they you know get more you know more bottles out there with the liquid that they're producing and Cologne's a very, 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 very small, small distillery with a super small outrun that they need to be, diver you know, diverse in, and they need to be thinking about, um, you know, what's, what, you know, what, what they can do with that liquid. So, yeah, it is coming to an end, Mick, and so is your time on here. So, listen. <laughs> I, I'm not going to share it again, put it that way. Anything I don't you, share anything, it. Anything you want to say to anyone out there, any loved ones that you want to say, I want to retract my picture, whatever, you know, you can say it now. <laughs> yeah, you know, is my mother not watching her? Probably. <laughs> no, no, you're all right, no, I'm grand. I'm grand. <laughs> Listen, Thanks. thank you very much, Mick. No worries. <laughs> Good luck with it, Brendan, as well. Another, Thanks a million, Mick. Slam. Cheers. Chat to you soon. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, you know, Mick, Mick is great crack, and I'm going to kick mm. him out of the studio now so he can watch, you know, from afar. We'll let someone else in. Um, so there we go. Brendan. High praise mm. from from the man in the shower. Um, Come on, Mick. I, I think look, we, we, we've got lots of guests here. I would like to talk to as many as you want. Do you want to bring on one of the guests? You want me to you know pick someone here that we can chat to? Who 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 we think? Yeah, I don't want to at all. Like we've got 
there's his governess to the top down, there's Ben and Val. Maybe move that way. Right. The one from Ben. Let's, let's bring Ben on. Okay. He so might not ben. be available, but he might be, hopefully. Oh, we'll check. hold on. We'll maybe wait till he puts his picture on. Uh, you're quite right. We'll go We'll go with Marik. Marika? Is she here? Maria. Here we go. Let's bring her in. Huh? I, I have her to the screen. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you, Marika? The picture is, yeah. I'm sorry, I don't have the whiskey. I can't taste it. It didn't sorry. get to Germany in time. Yeah. Is this Brexit causing an issue in Germany? Can we not get liquid to Germany now? What What is going on? I don't know. We we have travels here in Germany with posts everywhere, not just from other countries. So, um, <clears throat> but it sounds delicious, and I'm looking forward to taste it. <laughs> It is good. You know what? It, it yeah. is delicious, and I, I, I'm just—I I keep on—I keep on going to drink it because I want to keep on getting that flavour. I actually get a really strange kind of rhubarb taste on it, which is really odd. Mm. Okay. Like, like I, I've been it, having—I've I, been having see throughout this entire lockdown, lots of jam, lots of different flavours of jam, mm. and I have a rhubarb and strawberry jam that I've been going to for my, my scones, and there's a wee, there's a hint of that jamminess in there. It's, maybe it's the jamminess. Maybe it's not the rhubarb specific, but it's the jamminess that I get. Um, really, I really like that. Hopefully, Marie. Hopefully, we get some out to you, Brendan. Yeah, I, you get I, some. definitely. I will pick up some at Brendan. I know he reserved me some, so. Um. Oh, well, yeah, it's depleting quick, but we're trying our best to guard it for you. Yes, Marie has got all of our releases to date, but we need to send out this one now as well to Irish Whiskies DE in Germany. So. Marika, for anybody who doesn't know, owns Irish Whiskey, DE in, in Germany. They've been ambassadors for Irish Whiskey in Europe for a long time. And she's been championing, championing Irish Whiskey for some time now. And luckily, we're on the portfolio. So if anybody wants to buy whiskey for somebody overseas or you want to buy somebody overseas where to buy it, you know what? That's where we would tell them to go. No way. Thank you. No, I, yeah. No way. 100%. Uh, no, and do you know what? And how did, listen, just while you're here and we can plug it because we're on, we're, you know, we, we have no shame. How was the, the mini festival? How was the, the, the festival that you had over in Germany? How was that? I, it was great. Um, so the people were really enthusiastic in there. So um, we did also these sessions so that the people can buy a tasting set and then they can stay the whole weekend. And um, most of them did it. So it yeah. was awesome. I, I got so many feedbacks back after that. So we will do it again this year. And we will stay online because this is the format how I can get the people from Ireland over here all yeah. on one weekend. And I think the Germans really liked it um, because we put in these uh, new make things and some specials. So we will do it again this year, but not with new make. We are thinking about other ideas already. So, Brenton, <laughs> you will get a new make. <laughs> we can plenty of ideas, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Good. Was it? Good. Well, I'm, I'm glad. And listen. Good luck with that, and we'll get thank speaking you. very soon. Okay, I'm going to take you off here now. Okay, we'll yeah, really thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye bye bye. Bye. Yeah, there you go. That was good. And here, a fantastic uh, festival organized over in Germany there, which was great for people in Germany and then uh, for people in the south and in, in the Republic where we're, we're given the opportunity to get involved. So that was really good. Um, absolutely brilliant. Um, who have we got? Is that? We'll go with, can we go with Jim? Can we go with Jim Ingram? Bring in Whiskey Novice. Yeah, I think that would be a good crack. Is he is he ready for us? That's the question. Ah, he's always ready. Yeah, the man the man was born. The man was born ready. So let's bring him in. Come on, Jim. There Good we are. Boys. <laughs> Evening, Jim. Come on, Jim. Jim. Evening. As well. Oh, we're doing grand. Sure, we're, we're we're on we're on the we're on the liquor already, which is great. <laughs> you can't you cannot go wrong. Jim, these boys are putting me to shame with the beard convention. Get their baby know. face. That's a real beard. Mar Marika saved you, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant, absolutely brilliant. She's um, a great girl. She really is. is I think she? what she's what she's doing is fantastic. Like, 
Yeah, so. bring bring in bring an Irish whiskey specifically to Germany. Super, and um, you know, a one stop shop for for mm-hmm. Irish whiskey, which mm-hmm. is great. Jim, for those that don't know, you, sorry, Brenda. No, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, Jim, for those that don't know you, um, and maybe they don't see you and 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 different, you know, different guys. Maybe they're used to you in Belfast. Maybe they're used to you playing the guitar and singing great songs, <laughs> uh, down in the the Duke of York. Uh, but you're also uh, a YouTuber. Um, you're loving your YouTube channel and Whiskey Novice. It's about bringing whiskey to people in a really gentle, friendly, comfortable, uh, unpatronizing uh, way, which I think is absolutely brilliant. You know, so um, I know that you're an, an avid drinking of whiskey, no matter where it's from. Um, what do you make? What do you make of of, of the cologne stuff? What do you make? I uh, I really like it. This is the third one I've had. Don't ask me what they were. The other ones I can't remember. Brendan sent me a sample of the last. Was it the last one you released, Brendan? I can't remember. Oops, yeah, the stout. Imperial uh, stout. And yeah. I've had no. It was the peated one actually. It was the one oh, right. finished. In, that's what it was. And I'd had one prior to that. Can't even remember what that was. But I love them. And I, I've said to Brendan before. I just I think what he's doing is fantastic. It's great that something. Something on such a small scale has has raised such a I'm to find the best way to word this, but it's it's pricked people's ears up. It's it's you know it's got people stopping and listening, and and when but it's now that it's I don't want to big you up too much, Brandon. Like, but I mean it, it, the fact that it's getting out there to the world now, even be it just through you know that it's starting to come out through Europe, and I'm starting to see pictures see returns from people all over the world on fa- on facebook on youtube and instagram drinking cologne all over the Brilliant. world and i think that's class just yeah for a small Thanks operation i just need to add in there though there's, there's the, the story was founded by shane mccarthy liam brogan and myself you know as well um mm-hmm. so we turned on from the, the other two guys as well a big part ah, to play in indeed. It, you know? indeed. Um, so and then there's Pierce Carr and Q Fina and the two distillers as well with us. So I I just thought I'd, uh, you know, but I know I really no, no, appreciate no, yeah. you know, it. Right. And funny this here, Paul, uh, like the people have said Mick said it but fresh up fresh was the first thing I got in this one. And uh and now I, <laughs> I put a wee tiny drop of water in it there. And not only Clove Rock, Brennan, but I'm getting what Paul was saying as well, because on the nose then that we drop of water, I'm getting rhubarb and custard right. sweets. As in the 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 sweets, the rhubarb and custard sweets at a sweet shop, you know. Oh, you're right. You're right. Brilliant. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. like, it really yeah, is. Isn't it brilliant? Yeah. At first, it was. Uh, mm. I could really get the the virgin oak. I mean, you really. That was the first thing I noticed was that real new wood thing. But mm. the more this sells, the better it gets. Just it's the, the edge starts to come off a bit. Yeah. yeah. It does, it's lovely and sticky, but then that volatile, you no, know, t- tends to evaporate out of it, and then you're mm. just left with more of the, the flavour, heavy oils. Yep. Because um, like when you get a bit of high grain content, it's very good quality grain coming from from. Uh, we don't we tell everybody where our blends come from as much mm. as possible. Northern Irish single malt, I mean, we've got these lovely grains and single malts from from Cooley, which are supplied us from Great Northern Distillery, and th- those volatile compounds come out of that grain. It just they just fire all those other flavours at you. You know, yeah. and that's the beauty of blends. And it's for far too long, people do snub their noses up at blends, but that was something that we wanted to champion. That's something we wanted to push to the fore, was bringing back quality blends. And luckily enough, if you're doing it at a small batch, there's enough decent people out there to recognise blends as a seriously good drink. And um, and that's all we need. Oh, wow. So it's done right. Like, and I mean, the thing is, it's a testament to you guys that you're doing it mm-hmm. right. Because to me, it's a challenge greater than putting out a, a tasty single malt yeah you know to get that blend right is just something even anybody i always challenge anybody to try it sit in the house pick two of your favorite whiskies put them together and see what you get and, yeah. and if, if that doesn't work try something else and just <laughs> yeah, just exactly i think i think it's been welcomed i think the the series has been welcomed without it being even thought about as being a blend I think mm-hmm. that's been interesting that, you know, that I know within the club, I know that within Belfast Whiskey Club, we talk about, you know, every type of whiskey, every type of whiskey, and we'll, we'll try everything. And some people, when we come to scoring those whiskeys, go, oh, what would I give it as a blend? What would I give it as yeah. a, you know, single grain? Or what would I give it as, 
listen, here this stands this stands on its own as a whiskey. Mm. And 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 you know, if, if if you handed me this and didn't say it was a blend, I'd be mm. telling you it was a very good, you know, single malt whiskey. Because mm-hmm. actually, the, 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 there's a high level of grain content in here, and yet mm-hmm. it doesn't come across as being yeah. that really, you know, from most experience, that really sharp grain, you know, whiskey. It doesn't come it goes so mellowed down, and, and, and with, the, with, with even that small amount of malt, you know, giving it a really mm-hmm. lovely flavor. But you, you are using quality, pro, you know, product here, you're using quality, mm-hmm. um, you know, whiskey from different distilleries. And it is quality. And even though you cannot, and I just want to, we're going to keep pointing this out, but look, here we have these beautiful little, um, you know, pen marks, which are to, to stop talking about the real places where they come from, you know? And, and, it, and it, I suppose that's kind of, for me, that's disappointing. I think for some people, it'll be disappointing. For others, it'll just be they won't care and you won't just go on with it. But transparency is very, very important. And what you've done, throughout this series has been transparent, even though that we've now got to the point where we're scrubbing stuff off, we still know that the malt comes from, you know, part of it comes from Northern mm-hmm. Ireland. The, the, the yeah, just but 20%, 20% does, yeah. And I have to give a shout out to the guys in Eglin, though, were brilliant. They actually give us the stock for that malt because, you know, we were trying to get a uh, quality single malt, you know, that wasn't cooey. It was neither, and uh, yeah, the guys in Eglin were brilliant. I have to say, Jarlath's super. It's, it's good camaraderie within the, the the industry out there, you know. So I think that 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 decency is going to lend itself to Irish whiskey going forward, yeah. you know. Jim, anything else you want to say? No, just well done, Brandon, and, and the guys down at Cologne. It's uh, it's you, been bro. good. You know, it's been a good couple of years for you, as long as it last. Good. Cheers, Jim. We'll see you later on. Okay. Cheers, boys. Good man. Yeah, yeah, he's 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 got he, he is he's on point here. You know, it has been a good couple of years, Brendan. It has been a good couple. It's of years. It's, it was a year. It's been a year. It's, it's been, been January. Year, January. Oh <laughs> it feels like forever. This this one coronavirus lockdown has just. Yeah, I know. It's, so, uh, it's just unbelievable. Forever, forever, and ever, yeah. and ever. Uh, we're, listen, there's so much chat going on here. If John uh, McDougall uh, can get himself into this room, all he needs to do is press the link again and he'll come in. Uh, we've got other people in the link, uh, so I'm going to remove people out of the ring just now and bring people in. Uh, let's see who we've got. Is Ben going to show face here? Because I've got him here on here and I've got Val on as well. Um, but look, maybe we'll go to maybe we'll go to Shane because Shane, you know, Shane's been he was impatient. He was he was he was first. Shane, and you come. Morning. Hey, lads. Yes. Hello from Cork. Oh. Yes, Shane. Well, Shane. From where? Cork. 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 Cork's a lovely place with lovely people. Today is, we have good affiliation with Cork too. Uh, it's great. No more about you. You can stop doing here, but got down here eventually. It did. Where, where are, you? are you? Are you near the city or are you in the west? Right in the city centre. Very good. Do yeah. you ever get down to Cask? They're doing an amazing cocktail at the minute with Takeaway. I, I haven't got in there. Uh, I haven't got in there yet, but I've heard very good things about it. I, they're doing a Takeaway cocktail with this stuff here. Um, Are they? They're, they're brilliant, yeah. They're, they're, they're cracking. They're amazing. Currently at the palate cleanser, I'm having the uh, dark rum mojito seltzer. Yes. Oh, that's that's here. Do you know that that's a that's a daily drinker? You know, you, you you can you can roll out of bed, you know, you can crack one of them open, and you just feel alive. And, oh, um, you know, you it's get to lunchtime. Fresh lunch. Yeah, you get to lunchtime and you crack another one, and you feel great. And you get to dinner time, and do you know what? You need another, and it's just you know it's it's, it's a daily drinker, and you do not feel like an alcoholic. You feel refreshed. You know, it's. And it's really good. Apparently, it's really good for you. It's not like you know. It's not like a really heavy drink. It's like zero calories or something. You know, yeah. it makes it feel good. Boys, it clothes alcoholic good. water. Alcoholic, just a little bit of water. That's it. You know, it's it's bubbles. Yeah. It's just bubbles. Oh. It's, it's great, crack. You wouldn't Shane. even realize it's five percent. No, <laughs> no. That's what I'm saying. Have it with your frosties, Shane. What 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 are you what what are you making of this one? What are you making of this well, one? After both of you saying rhubarb and clove rocks, it's all I'm getting off it. 
Mm. Oh, you're right. Well, it's, I think I think like I've let it sit in the mouth for a bit just to get them oils around, and I think I'm getting a tiny bit of chocolate just at the very end as it goes down. The dark chocolate. Do you know what's a yeah. great one in there, Shane? On the nose, and, and probably just me, but we've got this hedgerow at home. It's an Escalonian hedgerow. You, uh, sometimes you have to go in under and rip the ivy out. It's just like, you know, gardening, that hedgerow ivy oh, sort of note in the nose. fresh vegetable. Yeah, or, or cutting, you know, if in the countryside and have to cut the hedges in September, as soon as you're allowed to. First week of September, start cutting the hedges, you get that lovely smell, fresh vegetable note. Yeah. yeah. I, like, I've had the tequila and the peated cask, and I thought the tequila was my favourite, but this the the virgin Hungarian oak, it's so so warm and welcoming in the mouth. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're spot on, Shane. Yeah, lovely, it's, lovely it's after Yeah, no, good, good, Shane. You part of the cult? You loving the you loving the cult? I'm a cultist, true and true. <laughs> I, I went a long way to get these these seltzers because they're impossible to get down here. No way. They're impossible to get in the south, are they? Oh, Celtic whiskey and Irish malts, the only place that'll do them. No place locally sells them yet. And then there's carry out in Killarney. Might have them as well. Well, here. Bit far to drive. You're going in the enemy territory there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shane, listen, thank you for popping on. Sport. Thank you for having me. Nah, listen. Uh, our pleasure, genuinely. We're going to got a couple of other people we want to bring in, but listen, Shane, you take care of yourself. All right, we'll get some we stuff, lads. Thank you. Yeah, well, you know, it's just great having people just coming into this, just coming yeah. in with the the sh again first time tasting it, which is very important. Um, we're going to bring on Jillian. I know she's sitting there, you know, probably daunted at the fact of coming in here, but um, I don't think Jillian's had cologne before. Maybe I'm wrong. She'll maybe tell us otherwise, but this will be interesting. So let's have let's bring Gillian into the into the stream. Hello, Gillian. Hi, hiya, how are you? Good. Hello, Good Gillian. You? Thank you. Good. Yeah, and no, never had cologne before. In fact, very little Irish whiskey before being from Scotland. I'm more Scottish single malt, Scottish blends. So this is okay. Interesting. Um, for me, it's lovely. The the first ones, as you were saying, quite spicy um, at the start. And then when the alcohol starts to burn off, I am kind of getting boiled sweets and more of the vanilla kind of caramelly tones coming through now. Um, but the finish mm. is beautiful and it's so warm and it's lovely. Really nice. So, yeah, you might have a convert here. <laughs> Good stuff, Gillian. You're into the Irish now. <laughs> that's what, that's what we want to we hear. splash we water as well. And I, I get flowers out of it too. You know, like yeah. honeysuckle and stuff. It's just I'm going to try out now with a bit of water. But, <laughs> no, what what do you normally drink, Gillian? Oh. Um, I was going to ask that. I know, I read. It's still my show. Still my show. Uh, kind of at the moment, I'm heading towards smoky kind of Islays, uh, mm -hmm. Kalila, like Villain. Um, I kind of started, I was, you couldn't move me from Space Side Sherry Cask, and now all of a sudden, I'm starting to move to Lowlands, over to Islay, to the Outer Hebrides. Yeah. So, yeah, starting to develop. But Irish is new, totally new to me. So, yeah, this is a great experience. So thank you very much. But, yeah, I would yeah. definitely check it out. In terms of Irish, um, I did a, the Whistler tasting, which was nice. Um, mm. uh, Bushmills um, and Glendalock, you know, kind of bits and pieces. But... Nothing that I've kind of been able to hang my hat on quite yet. So, yeah, yeah this Good. this is interesting. Yeah. Good. Well, here I'm glad you I'm glad you had the chance to, to try it and yeah. come on here and have a bit of banter. Sure, why not? I know. Uh, and we should, <laughs> we should be seeing you later on for a yes for, for, for a tasting. But listen, just one thing. I'm just trying to I'm, I'm trying to get this in terms of in terms of being a Scots lady. Yes, mm -hmm. Irish whiskey is not talked about Scotland, am I right? No, not really. No, and even, I mean, I married an Irishman called Paddy, for goodness sake, you know, and he he still loves Scotch. Well, he did marry me, so, yeah, he loves Scotch. Yeah. But, um, yeah, he even still would... I don't think he's up to date with what's really going on in Irish whiskey because in his head it's kind of, well, 
Irish whiskey is like a, a good scotch and I'm like but that's not the way it is and you know um so I'm kind of pushing him into that now through me learning which is quite good so yeah we'll get him on later on and we'll give him a good rant about <laughs> pop star Irish whiskey and the future of pop star and it's all it's it's about to change very soon yeah uh, I actually uh, bought a uh, Sexton recently. It was on offer mm -hmm. in Tesco's, and do you know it's it was a lovely so uh, whiskey. Uh, just just something when you're looking for something that's not too complicated, just to sip, you know, kind of yeah. on a Sunday night as opposed to really going for it with a tasting or something. And great and cocktail, price, yeah. coffee, fantastic price, really good price. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so Cheers. far, I'm impressed. Thank you very much for. Allowing me to join in. <laughs> Super. Listen, thank you very much, Jenny. We'll Cheers. You thank you. No Thanks, more. Paul. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Yeah, that, 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 that was great crack. Um, mm, it's good to hear. Paul, you've muted yeah. yourself, by the way. No, I noticed. Good I was trying to, like, I'm trying to like, <laughs> bring someone else in, and I've got my pen, and look, I'm pen in it, uh, and I'm just bringing people in. I'm, I'm wondering, we'll bring in, shall we bring in, uh, oh, come on. I think Charles is like, you know, begging to come on. Begging. Is. Have Let's you got that auto on? Someone curses that it can stop. Begging. There's, no the... in, there's no swearing in the, in the live streams. There's no he's cursing. There's no messing about here, son. My name's not fucking Brendan Carter. Huh? <laughs> Get him all. Get him all. Sorry, right. sorry, sorry. Sorry, I'm on live. Oh, you're in the show. Yes, yeah. you're, you're on yes. live. Ah, fact. It's all over. It's all over. What are we? Are we, are we finished bottle two? What are we moving on to? Wise up. We're on bottle two just now. <laughs> what, what, oh. time, what time do I have to take the bit? <laughs> bottle two is gone. And that's for Mariaka there. Do you see the nice sweet bottle? Or the wee, uh, lovely. There's a wee drag there. What, what did you think of it? What did you think of it? Uh, Lovely. Kit? Lovely. A bit of a burn at the start, but it's a very nice, nice drop. I, I put water in the last one there. It's a very nice drop. I, it's nice with water. It definitely is. It opens it up. Open yeah, it up. Some more floral notes. Yeah. Right. No, listen, I'm glad, look, it, was, it was there to be drunk. Don't be thinking that you had to keep it. You know, it was there to be drunk. I don't think anyone's going to, you know, be disappointed you've been drinking it. That's a sign of a good whiskey, the fact you wanted to finish it. So, uh, <laughs> which is yeah. great. It's going on yeah, sale now in 15 minutes, so. The, the, you the day, buy it. 15 minutes. The deal, is tonight, the deal is tonight, we're watching on the big screen. We can't get you on live on the, on the iPad, but we're doing it on your link on the iPhone. So we have all the technology. The bugger about it is at seven o'clock. I've no device to go to Irish Malts and buy the bloody whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Irish Malts, Celtic whiskey, Irish Malts and Celtic whiskey. Yep, two places. Yeah, and they're all good local off licenses. And the whiskey uh, exchange yeah. happened there, right? Yes. Give, give the guys at uh, Anzac a run too. They're good. Yeah, right, they're right. doing distribution in the north, aren't they, uh, Anzac, for, for yourselves, Brendan? Am I right? Mm. Yeah, and every other whiskey company in the country now as well. In a sense, <laughs> yeah. I have to I have to say a couple of wee things here before I'm, I'm banned off the stage. Brendan, did you like that thing last night with Peter Moran? Was that yeah, good or a crack? Yeah. Are you his protege? I'm wondering, are you his protege? Because you, you sing from the same hymn sheet as far as the title. We're all, we all do. We're all just the voices crying in the wilderness. You can call me Elijah if you want. I don't mind, kid. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Elijah. <laughs> we're all we're, we are we're, we're changing the doctrine of Irish whiskey do you know what I mean yeah. um, and and the the last, so that's yeah. another story though. I, had, I had to bring it up I really enjoyed the show last night I see Billy Lighton and lots of guys were watching it so you're reaching out to a lot of people yeah it needs changed and we're all we're all part of the same crew so the guys will come around if they haven't already um, you know yeah, yeah. And so we're, 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 we're going to be seeing um, yeah we're going to be seeing, even with um, Finnan uh, O'Connor's, um, these vintage mash bills, you know, people are going to see that, that things can taste different and probably for the better that they taste different yeah. and there's diversity in the, in the, in, in the, whisk, in the whiskey industry. But diversity is key to this. Diversity is going to be a big driver of how we, as well, as, how, as, as the industry progresses, but how distillage progress and how, you know, we as a consumer have that choice 
di- diverse choice. We, you know, we want to taste oh, things yeah. slightly different. You know what I mean? We want, we, you know, we want to have that. Because the whiskey industry, Irish whiskey industry, deserves integrity. It deserves its own history to be recognised. You know, you can't say that something that's more pot still than it is today isn't actually pot still. And then something of today, which is actually more alien, is called pot still. So that's what we're, you know, it is still pot still, but for God's sake. That's all. I know. It's simple. It's it's a no-brainer. Um, so we listen, we ought to the history to do it right. We do. We listen. We ought. I, do you know what? You've heard me say this before, Brandon. And this, you know, I'm one of these. And I was talking to someone today, one one of our club members. I was saying, look, I, I really should, I really should keep on saying this. I'm one of these guys who are. I'm an anti. You know, I'm the anti. Keep the bottle closed, person. Open the bottles. Get them open. Mm. But one of the things I've always said about when why we do that, why we open a bottle of whiskey, and particularly we open an older bottle, is because the person who came up with the mash bill, the person who distilled it, the person who was part of that process, and you know who who got there, there's people who, you know, going back a hundred odd years were part of a process to give us something to drink and experience and to taste, not to sit on one shelf, and mm-hmm. and and. And potentially grow some sort of you know you know fund for your children. No, yeah. crack it open, drink the liquid, because actually we're, what we're doing then is paying homage to the people who cared enough to put it in the bottle, um, mm-hmm. and that's what we're all about. I mean, well, I I, I, I am, and uh, people people. Ah, but there's there's room for everybody. There's room for everybody. No, there's no, room no, for collectors. no, there's no room for but, anyone. Like, <laughs> whiskey. You can't blame the guys that collect. You can't blame the guys that that drink. You know, no, there's room for everybody. Can't. You definitely can't listen. People who listen, people who want to collect, that's great. Look, I, I'm I'm a collector. I also drink yeah. most of it. You know what I mean? I'm an um, I'm an avid drinker, but I, I like to collect. Cause I like pretty things. Yeah. I well, I was telling I was telling Mick was keeping me going. That's Maguire was keeping me going. I posted last night. I was buying seven bottles of this last bond at experimental. You know, two would be enough. One to drink, one to keep. Nah, that's that's a, listen, good man, Kit. We need more kids. We shall catch you later on. Okay. Thanks a lot. Good luck, guys. Cheers. Come on, kid. Listen, what about this? What about Val? Are we getting Val on here? Yeah. Yeah. Good man, Val. There's Good Val. See there. the Are we going to have a sensible conversation with someone with real sense and real integrity right now? Is that what it is? Val's doing a lot of good work for Irish Whiskey Abroad as well. You know, Let's really bring is. Him in. Let's bring him in. And quality journalist, too. Hello, Val. How are you, Hello, Val. How are you? Uh, thank you very much for the sample. Appreciate. You're most welcome. Good man, Val. Not a problem. Val, have you? I mean, have you gone through the series? Have you tasted them all? Have you? You've managed to taste them all so far. Val yeah. managed to taste them from the casks. He, he came to us right at the very start when nobody even wanted to know who Clone was. He was up in the oh. distillery floating around. <laughs> yeah, he did. I, I, I watching what. Uh, Brandon does with the whiskey, with the community, what he built. So it's really, 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 really nice whiskeys. And what I'm admiring is how Brandon built the friendship with the with us. You know, I think for the such a small uh, distillery, it's uh, very important to build this this link, bridge, whatever, with the consumers. So it. it it's fantastic. I mean, you know. Thanks Good. very much. No, well, here, I would, I would echo that. I, I totally agree. Well, totally. It's been great the way, for you know, I suppose being local here, you know, based up in Northern Ireland, that we have, I have something which is super local and super. I just feel that there's a there's all their relationship there, and for some reason, the Cologne brand, the Cologne experience, the Cologne. You know the the whiskey. Everything is getting out around the world, and it's not no longer is it just you know it's this close little you know distillery. But you really fingers crossed, you really just want to do really well. All of a sudden, lots of people and lots of different you know circles are saying, "Okay, I'm in, I'm interested. You've got my you know you've got my uh, you know attention right now." And this series has captured people's attention. Am I right, pal? It's captured people's. You know, imagination of what can be done, particularly for blends. Mm. I think yeah. that's right. Uh, I love, I love Cologne, and this particular whiskey. 
I think the, the, the uh, virgin oak is shining through the nose and taste. It's, it's, it's fantastic. It's spicy. It's, it's lovely whiskey. My favorite, my favorite of all series was rum, but I think that's, mm. that's it's equally as nice as rum cask. I mean, all casks are different and it was nice journey to see how pretty much the same spirit it, it, it tastes differently in different casks. It, it's a nice a journey. Like, absolutely enjoyed all those uh, releases. And, and the last one, I think, just bang. Very nice. Well Good. done. Cheers, Paul. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, Rochelle. Very patient tonight as well. Uh, sitting there Cheers. Being very patient. Val, just want to. It's interesting. Oh. You go, you go. Val, I'm just looking behind your 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 uh, in your shelf there. I see some lovely bottles, and you know, um, question for you: If what do you make of? Uh, and I just want. I suppose this is an aesthetic thing. The bottle that's being used here by Cologne, yeah. It wasn't our traditional kind of bottling that we were used to, was it? You know, it's not that tall, you know, bottle. We've gone for something hip flasky. Um, what do you make of that, Val? I, I, I do. I want. I want people's opinions on this because I'm thinking to myself, this to me stands out from the crowd. The fact that we've got the wee Hessian bag gives it this little, you know, it, 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 it's so unique. You know, is, is that? Have, have you known? Has that been? Is that? Is that something that makes it stand out as well? Is it not just? It's not just the whiskey. There's a whole brand concept. There's a whole, you know, message coming from from these guys. Yeah. The, <laughs> what I love. I love the the wax that, <laughs> yeah. that, that looks really nice. But what I love mostly is the information on the bottle. You know, as 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 I try to convince people in Russia that Irish whiskey is good, and uh, uh, but Russians they they love the information. The first thing when you do tasting with Russian Russians they will be asking how it's made uh, what cask casks used if it's if it's non age statement they will be asking what aged uh, how long the spirit spends in the barrels you know and like Brandon you can re read all the information on the label and you don't have to message Brandon and asking those questions Brandon uh, what you use for this uh, you know it's all on the label yeah and I love it good mm -hmm. I'm glad like I'm really Thanks glad you much. mentioned that oh. yeah you well, are championing Irish whiskey in, in, in Russia right now and Russia is a massive market for Irish whiskey so I think the whole industry is in debt, in debt to yourself very like Marika in Germany for instance what you're doing over there in Eastern Europe is fantastic, you know, and I think you're set, sowing the seeds of, of a sustainable future for Irish whiskey. I always say that Board B should be paying the likes of yourselves for this sort of thing. They really should be, you know, they should be funding yeah, it. For I, wish you, I wish you all the best. I hope in the, you, you, you will be, your future whiskey will be on the Russian market because I know lots of people really admire what you do. Darren mm -hmm. Cologne. Thanks a million, Val. Thank you very that's much. Great. That's, that's great to hear. Val, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy Cheers, your lads. Thank you. Oh. We did have someone. I mean, I don't know where they've popped off to. I don't know. Where's um, where's John McDougall? Where is he? He's meant to be in here. But I just and there's Daniel Pennington as well, isn't there? Did he change? Uh, well, did someone change their uh, <laughs> someone change their, their stage name there? Hmm. Bring back smoking in pubs, I noticed. was a... Uh, an interesting, interesting <laughs> stage name. Sure. Kip, Kip Charles. Well, wasn't it? Wasn't was it? Wasn't Kit? No, it was someone else. Something it was someone else. Uh, what about Ben? Have we got Ben? I mean, I know he's there. He, I'm just wondering whether or not I can click him in. He, he said he can't. He's on the Zoom call at the same time. But Daniel Pennington's there as well. You know. Can you see? Where's Daniel? I can't see him on the list. Oh, I. He was chatting there earlier. Yeah, but, uh, if, he, if he clicks in, then he can click in. I just want to say a couple of things just now while we, we, we get uh, John to pop in. 
and uh, maybe uh, you know maybe uh, Ben if he wants to come on uh, and Daniel. Oh, I jumped off to make space for John. We'll get in, Daniel. There's plenty of room, plenty of room for you guys to come in here just now. Get back in. But one thing that one thing that struck me, 2019, um, you guys got yourselves involved in the Belfast Whiskey Week, uh, the, the festival mm. in Belfast, and you didn't have the bonded stuff at this point. You know, this was this was um, pre-bonded thoughts, maybe even you know it was like still at the you know kind of raw stage. This is what we're making. This is our new make stuff, you know. Uh, you got a bit of, you know, you got a really good reception, you know, from that festival. You know, lots of people coming in and tasting your 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 new make, and that really, to me, I'll be honest, that's my turning point. Like seeing what was going on there, that was a real being able to taste those new make spirits, and 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 you know, we've now moved on a little bit. How many, yeah, how many casks are are laid down just now uh, uh, that are not private? That are laid down just now, and when are we? we when would we be expecting for 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 Cologne to to start to come on onto the market? Just to give people an idea, because yeah. I've seen it from start, may, start, but we may have about fifty casks. I'd say probably about fifty of our own, which is probably nothing compared to other distilleries. It's a week's work yeah. in some other distilleries, <laughs> but that was a lot of hard slugs. We're taking a little break from 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 distilling now for the next couple of months to just get everything else in order, house in order, and move things about. And um, uh, if you think about it, what we're also going to be doing is releasing patching. Some people might think that trying to premiumize and make really quality blends it is a is a difficult move. Imagine premiumizing patching. So we were talking about the quality, and for us, it's 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 a move of confidence now. Um, and it's to us trying to say, look what we can do with our spirit. And not just that, Pachin doesn't have to be, you know, something that you buy when you leave Mass on a Saturday night in the 60s. Pachin or something you get off a dodgy bollocks up a hill. Pachin is something that can be good. And it's something that's been ignored from the big companies. And we've got a te- don't start in the technical file. The technical file of Pachin was purposely written by idiots. It's been written in, in a terrible way. So what we're going to do is, within the parameters of patching making with a little bit of protest bending the rules we're going to release a 10 week old spirit a series of 10 week old spirits that are going to be very interesting and uh, so that that's the next move for cologne so yeah and so they're going to be done in good, good, good political culture you know you, you you kind of went with that politician's answer to my question i like that i'm glad we're going to talk about this now second series of releases from cologne and it's all about patching it's all about potching. It's all about ten weeks spirit up the potching. Indeed, Shane, up the potching because actually it's going to be very interesting to see um, potching on the market um, in such a, a diverse way. Because at the moment, quite rightly so, people have the really strange thought process in their head that potching is something which comes from the wee man up the hill, or it's something that you know your your dad's mate will hand over to you, you know, in the pub, and you'll have a wee you know a wee drink of it, and then it goes back in its brown paper bag. Um, and all the releases so far, have they been up to the kind of expectations of people's kind of fantasy of Pochin and what it could be? We've got a big champion of Pochin uh, down in uh, mm. d- down in Dublin. Uh, David's yep. banging on the door of people. Pam, 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 yeah, 1661, yeah, yeah, has been champion in Pochin for a long time. Take Good on you. Take it seriously. Take it yeah. seriously is what he's been saying. So now you are, as it's silly, taking it seriously. And creating a range of pot gene. It's not the one pot gene, it's going to be mm-hmm. variants of the pot gene, which I think is really going to be very interesting. But come back, come back to the question 50, 50 casks. And when, when do we see that come into the, to, 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 to people's, you know, shelves? When do we see that? What's the, I'd say top a reason? year and a couple of months, a year and a couple of months, and we'll be putting it Good. out there. We're we're confident enough that we're going to stick it out three years straight away. Um, we're, we're happy with it. Uh, we make whiskey in a very expensive way. Um, we're a small distillery, but the overheads are massive because of the way yes. we do things. Uh, think things are done by hand, from start to finish. But we're also, whenever I was working in other distilleries, it seemed like a still would nearly run for like sixty eight hours, six to eight hours, not sixty eight. So yeah. our stills run for twelve hour shifts. You imagine spirits sitting in the still for twelve hours. And this is flame fed, so you're already increasing complexity. The length of time that's in there interacting with your copper, 
you know, the sulfates are dying out. And then by the time that gets through your condenser, which is a worm tub condenser, you know, you're getting a full bodied old oily spirit and then we're putting them into these lovely casks and yeah, it's just think I think I I think it's gonna be good whiskey when it comes out. In fact, I've tasted two year old spirit that we've been producing and it's it's definitely it's coming across like ten year old um quality, ten year old. Um, so it's something that we're happy with, and it's something we're very, it was something we're very anxious about at the start. This was a bloody gamble, based on your trial and error and research and visiting other distilleries. But a large part of it is to do with mash bills. It isn't just by chance, or f- that, that a lot of these mash bills follow that. You know, thirty percent other rule where, where it was like you know fifteen percent was uh, if between oats, rye, and wheat. You know, so 7.5% uh, say it was oats and 7.5% was rye. Or, or, you know, I'm a little bit tipsy now, but anyway, it, whenever you use basic, basic ratios, it makes, so with this potching range, we've actually stepped up the old content slightly. And it's not just as good as what we're laying down as whiskey, which is interesting. So whenever you keep it in with, within those parameters, it's it's far more interesting. No, let's so, listen. That that, that to, to me is to me the again. It's the whole experience of Cologne. It's what we're getting here. You know, it's we're getting this opportunity to see what the distillery can do. The fact is, people really need to get this in their head. The distillery is so small. The production run in the last year and a half is accumulating fifty casks. It's nothing. It's it, it's a small amount. You know, it it's so small that actually what we're going to get at the end of this is a very expensive process, a very expensive whiskey that's being produced. And, and, and in doing so, you would, the, the amount of effort, the time, the, you know, the, the, the work that's gone into to, to making each one of these uh, casks, very, very, you know, very, very important that people understand it, that they understand the, the, the sense of scale. So to put this in a context, what you've done over the last year and a half of 50 casks will be produced in some distilleries in the space of what you know days minutes yeah whatever uh, it is do you mean it's so it, it's it's yeah. so small you know what i mean it's so small and I, I really appreciate it i really i'm loving this and, and i'm very excited about a second series this mm-hmm. the end of this series is important and it's important that we have an end to it this you know no doubt if you have more liquid you know you could have gone forever in a day but uh it's it's good to have an end process we're going to bring back right. smoking. You bring put this on your CV now. Pubs. Bring back smoking in pubs. Let's bring it back. And what? Why? Why? Yes. Why? Bring back. We thought you were. We thought you were. Ah, just somebody else. I was an ex smoker. I'm just looking at Kiss smoking and going, "Fuck! I love one of them." How fun! It's how seven funny, o'clock, not nine o'clock. And it doesn't matter. It can be four in the morning. <laughs> he was sitting. He was sitting smoking there. Like there was nothing. There. there was no issues. There's no coronavirus going on. There's nothing. <sighs> yeah, boys. You know what I mean? In there, like you know, swimwear, smoking away. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. I'm, I'm actually glass? relegating. What is that glass you have there? It's a. Uh... Ah, get on. Where's, your cologne, where's your cologne glass? And look at the big fucking look at era, era in the middle. How classy is that? Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> where? Oh, oh where that. That's there's crazy. there's the angry little ship behind me. <laughs> 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 I'm relegated to the daughter's bedroom. I'm in the daughter's bedroom. She has ballet, and the, we have teacher parent meetings at the moment. I'm dragging all these bottles. I'm dragging all the bottles down out of the press behind Sarah. Her room is the bottle store room, is it? Oh, they're what everywhere. You, I'm in trouble. What do, you, <laughs> what do you make? What are you making of the full series? What do you make of it? I mean, what's what's the what's your thoughts of the full series? Um, at the, to be honest, at the start, I was a bit worried. I thought they'd all be very similar because the makeup's exactly the same. But um, no, they've been really, really different. It's like a testament to Brendan and the team, like how well he's done with them. Good. Um, no, good. Like, I, I, fa- I think they progressively got better. Well, yeah, I, I would, I, yeah. No, that's interesting because my taste profile would take me back. Well, I'm drinking the rum. The rum is my yeah, favorite. Take me back to the rum. Yeah. But yeah, the rum's my favorite. This one here, though, is, and, 
We were confectionery. <laughs> Sweets. There's a man after your own heart here. Oh, yeah, that's when I don't oh, smoke. I'm eating sweets. <laughs> I'm all about. I'm all about. This is serious. You man, love your sweets. You have to be on camera. You can't yeah. pretend you don't eat these things. Spice, spice. I love that version out, by the way. Really nice. Good oh man. man. What, what, any notes out of that, uh, Ian? The, the, well, the, I was getting the clove, and I actually thought I got a bit of peanut at the end and peppermint. The but I didn't put water in. Like, if I sent a bigger sample, I would have put water in some of it. Mm. <laughs> send you a bigger sample. Yeah, send, send bigger, you bigger sample. sample. Like I'm, six, I'm six foot three for fuck's sake, and my belly's grown. <laughs> <laughs> the, I shouldn't, ha I shouldn't have to dig sandals. into. I shouldn't have to dig into my own whiskey for this. <laughs> oh. Hold on, I love it. I love everything about. I, I love everything about Brendan. I love everything about Cologne. I love the whole lot. I'm sold. Good. I'd did have Brendan's babies if I could. Online? Ian, did you manage to get a bottle online? I've just noticed it's past seven now, so I wanted to make sure you uh, No. I, I didn't you say you'd send me down a full bottle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Do you know what, John? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a plug here. John Fleming in Carry Out in Killarney said he'd look after me for a bottle so if anyone's looking for one john has about 50 of them in his back room so knock in good stuff <laughs> go ahead john yeah i love it your number your number zero zero one in the clone cult am i right i'm the head man yeah you, you gave it to me zero, paul zero, you told one. me zero you said zero, you had, remember that conversation you said I, I'm deadly, but I think you're better. Remember you said that to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I hold my hands up. I, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just the only one. Uh, no, you're great, doing great. Just, doing great <laughs> the whiskey head of Dublin meets the whiskey head of Belfast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's, he has a bit more on top than I do. I, you know, I, I have loads of hair. I love it. I absolutely love it. My problem is that when you have this much hair, you know, you need to maintain it and there's no freaking way I can get to hair. No, this. no. Do you know what? When you get to a certain age, you let it go wild because it really pisses the bald people off. <laughs> <laughs> you let the calves' licks come out and everything. Like, <laughs> it just Bro, destroys a man's It destroys a man's soul, it does, when he sees a man with loads of hair. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's all right, Paul. Just keeps going. Just keeps going. It's, uh, it's all over. It's all I've over. only got three nipples down there, so it's all right. No point in me pulling it down. <laughs> uh, listen, t tell, tell us that look, you, you do a lot. You do a lot for the industry, okay? So, you know, you know, and 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 and, and whiskey entirely, you know. So you have that. You mm -hmm. have the connections with with the Scottish whiskey and the Irish whiskey. And listen. You, you obviously a question I want to give you know for 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 us guys out here. Do you see with the with all these new distillers? Do you see new kind of I suppose new kind of people to come on board like younger, different kind of demographics? And we're looking at because we have such a diverse I suppose potential. I mean, at the moment's potential. Do you see lots more people, particularly in Ireland, drinking Irish whiskey? Because at the moment. I still find that it's still a smaller group of people, and it, and actually the people drinking Irish whiskey are in the states, or they're in Russia, or they're in Germany, or they're in France, or you know, and, and really we just aren't getting the the local people to the understand traction. that whiskey is happening here. It is happening. Yeah, uh, it's a tough one. I think you see a lot of people coming in the invest, investment level, drinking level. I think. Not so much. But having said that, a lot of people start off collecting whiskey and end up drinking whiskey and end up drinking their collection. You know, I've seen that with people <laughs> who drink scotch over the years. It'll happen with people who collect Irish whiskey. They'll end up opening up bottles because they're curious. They'll come in drunk one night or something. And they'll have probably two of something and they'll open it up and they'll go, I like that one. But I... I I don't think Irish palates are used to whiskey at the moment. I just don't see it. I yeah. think they like their mix, a little kind of mixer in with them. Yeah, and that's, that's why cocktails are such a big thing. They are. 
they are, and that's what I mean. That's just sometimes just like I'm seeing and I'm seeing a lot of it with the people that are in communication with me and who are talking to me and are, are really enthused about Irish whiskey. They're not Irish, you know. There are people who are you know, from different countries who are like, listen here. Do you know what you've got there? You've got freaking great product. You've got great. This one there, you just had Val Void on. Val Void, like yeah. unbelievable. You, it's where he was Irish until you talked to him and read his name. You know, like he's so big into Irish whiskey, like he's a brilliant advocate for it. But if we can get a lot more people involved, it'll probably take 10, 12 years before we're there. I remember even like in the 90s, the thousands, going to Scotland, and you'd be ordering a dram at the bar, you know, and it wasn't in a regular thing. Whereas if you have a chaser over here years ago, it'd be an old man sitting at the bar with his pint and his chaser. Yeah. Like it's still, unless you go to a whiskey bar, you won't see that in many pubs. No. No, no. You'll get there though. Hope, no, hundred percent. Hopefully, and yeah. I think that I think we're lucky in some respects. That I, I think there'll be enough facilities. people for Brendan. To, I think there'll be enough people for Brendan to sell his two point five casts a week, though. So I think <laughs> that's the main thing, isn't it? <laughs> that's all you have to worry about. <laughs> Never no, mind everyone else. <laughs> I think it is that's interesting. We are to see that. We've got all these distilleries that we have, all these new ones coming through. They are going to take time before they release their product, so we have time, I think, to build people you know to, to to get to that point that we get more drinkers involved locally because look but even at that point paul like look what you've done up the north in belfast and kind of surrounding counties belfast wasn't on the scene years ago like north wasn't on the scene for irish whiskey bushmills did nothing with our stock you know like there wasn't a vibe up there now there's a massive vibe up there all the, yeah, shout, all take, the shouting comes from the north <laughs> I'll take full credit for the fact that, that Bush Mills have released a massive collection. I'll take full credit for that. Yeah, you, know I mean? you should. We, look, but, well, yeah. listen, I think, I think the guys in our club, I think the guys in our club who who literally, you know, continuously talk, talking to the representatives, continuously nail it on the head, which is Bush Mills, Bush Mills, Bush Mills, is brilliant, is absolutely great. Yeah. So give us what we need, which is lots of cash strength whiskey, lots of diverse casks, lots of beautiful, you know, uh, and you know what the problem is, though, with that Causeway series, though, Paul? Who's mm -hmm. opening the fucking things? They're all closed. Oh, you know what? Do you know what's just so funny, right? I mean, you, yeah, you, yeah, you're yeah, yeah, different. I'm talking about, you look oh, everywhere. Oh. I can't see anyone opening them. There, there, there's, there's nobody guy, opening I'm, the bloody things. I'm going to give I'm gonna give the guy a call out. I'm going to give him a shout out right now, right? There's a guy in our club, a yeah. guy called Niall. Lovely fella. Niall Smith. He's our IT guy. Niall he do, do IT stuff, right? Lovely fella. His fiance, who's fantastic, bought him at Christmas time a Bush Mills bottle from the UK release. The 168 bottles that went out there for the, the UK for release. Mets or whatever. Bought him it and, and made him open it. Made him, made made him, him open, open it. it. Yeah. Yeah, made him open it. So I, I say I say to Niall today, I says, Niall, do you realise what the, the, the going rate for that bottle is in auctions at the moment? And he went, No, I don't See, no that's idea. the problem. No, I know that's the problem. Exactly. It is. That's, that's the problem. Serious. Straight away when someone sees an open bottle, do you know yeah. how much that is? Like, yeah. why is it even no, relevant? No, no. Like, it, that's that's whiskey now, but that's exactly. It I is what it is. Yeah. Them, exactly. I said to him, I says, listen, I said it's it went fifteen hundred the other day in, in, a, in a Scottish whiskey site, and I says the fact that you've opened it says it all. Like, they should be opened, and I says yeah. you know, we should not be. <clears throat> we should not be talking about buying and i've said it earlier we should be buying to drink realizing the, the taste of it do you know what i mean and look people could collect all day long i'm not going to slag that off but get them open I collect. and listen the the, Kush, the, the the bushmills causeway collection has to be drunk there's not a bad one yet you know what i mean and the, they've all been good everyone has tasted has been good nobody nobody minds the too. nobody minds the you know the drinkers but it's the flippers that gets everybody the flippers it's the flippers you know well, just by ah, flippers are great. <laughs> <laughs> ah, if you're swimming down the river, <laughs> absolutely brilliant. And up, and, up, and up the lottos. <laughs> oh my god, don't, don't, just don't. It's just don't. Uh, no, listen, it's um, honestly, I think, I think, look, we've got we've got big things happening, I think, in Ireland with all these distilleries. Big things happening, yeah, the I festival, agree. The and festival, the mash bills, the mash bills, a massive one. This yeah, mash bill mash that's going to go on is massive. Like, how can you call? That's how can you call a pot still from years ago? Like, I've had this conversation with you, Brandon. How can you call it Irish whiskey? Like, the, the Irish whiskey is a blend. Irish whiskey can be anything. 
like that's why that's why we set up Cologne was to make that whiskey. There just wasn't it wasn't accessible. That's we can't you. afford the five grand a bottle to drink it, so we're going to make it. You know what I mean? And that's what Irish whiskey is. It's just uh, we're not getting anything less than that. Still, can't be amazing. It is bloody amazing. So you're going to make five. You're making five grand whiskey. Is that what you're saying, Brendan? We're making Can I get what? You right there. You said you can't afford to open five grand whiskey, but you're making it. So you're making five grand whiskey. I'd make a ten grand whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would have thought. Uh, and uh, uh, no, look, we've got we've got a big yeah. That's very important. That I think there's a I think there's definitely a, a realization that we are we're moving in the right direction. And look, I think I think if we can get more people in Ireland drinking Irish whiskey, it's going to definitely help locally. Um, yeah, I just think you know I want to see that. You know, I want to see get Americans back in love with whiskey yeah. again. Yes, 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 very much so. Listen, John, thank you very much. You are uh, thanks, lads. Abs- absolute pleasure good to have you. Sure we'll no problem, good man, soon. Soon. Lo- love you, Brandon. Love you, Brandon. Why is he going all the odds? Why is this? Why is he? Just because he has a distillery. Right, that's it. No, <laughs> it goes deeper. It goes deeper than that, Paul. It goes deeper. He's got a cask. He's got a cask, Paul. Ooh. What? What? And it, do you yeah, know what? It's in the Hungarian. Yeah. It's in the Hungarian cask. Or am I allowed to say that? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yourself and Ed's. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's <laughs> light with it. It's light with it. At least, at least you could spell my name properly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he, oh ran <laughs> <laughs> he ran out of letters. He ran out of letters. B R B R E I N D F R E I N. And you forgot the Mac before Carty as well. I took the soup. I took the soup, John. Man, I better get off. I have another. T- I have another oh, parent yeah. teacher meeting. <laughs> Cheers, lads. Thanks a million for the sample. Good job, Paul. Good job. Take care, uh, Brendan. I didn't write your name, by the way. I That's you. Sorry. Well, maybe it think was. I write, think I write everyone's name? No, that's your name. Like Ben well, wrote Ben and Whiskey Novice wrote Whiskey Novice, and, bring and he wrote Bring Back the, Eggs to the yeah, pubs. You wrote Brendan, spelled B R E N D N. That's bad. Well, in, bad. in fairness, I did land in here at the, what time was it? <laughs> Yeah, just on right, just right. on time. It's all okay. Send everybody um, else the link. Uh, listen, I, I, I I've really enjoyed this. It's been a bit of crack, and you know we've, we've I think we've, we've we've done really well. I'll just pro- pick up on Anthony's point here. He was saying people looking for investments as they're not making any money from savings banks. Probably, yeah. But uh, yeah. that's it just I like what you said below. Want to drink, want to keep. Want to drink is very very important because you know not drinking it is a shame. You know. Um, will it go on sale again uh, as it's sold out, Cliff? It's on sale in local off licenses, so it has not left the island, it's in Ireland, it's in the north. You can purchase it in off licenses. Um, so yes, it's so sale. because it's, it's gone off right now, yeah. So, like, I know for a fact you can Anzac uh, did the distribution in the north, so you, you know, there's going to be probably likes of the vineyard or something in Belfast. Um, probably Anzac up in Bally Castle, those kind of places which have really supported D- continuously. DC Wines uh, in Belfast. DC so. Wines, yeah. Um, and I don't know, I don't know if Celtic Whiskey might have some physical in their shop, I'm not sure, but I think they've probably, because they put it out online, they've put, uh, they might have sold their allocation. Um, but listen, it, it, you know, hopefully you get a bottle because it is, it is something special and it's really nice to finish off the series with a good. And I've always been saying this to Brendan. I've been saying this, and I hope that he doesn't uh, hate me. But I've been saying, wait till you fuck up. Wait till you make a mistake. People it's going to happen. You know, people will come down and clatter you. And the problem here is we've had seven good whiskies. And I think that's an achievement in itself. The fact that we've had seven without there being an uproar, without our pe- people saying, not good, really not good. They've mm. been good whiskies. And... You know, yes, they're blends, but pfft, they're whiskies to me, and and to me they've been very, very good. I've really appreciated it, um, and I've enjoyed drinking it. I'm not gonna, yeah. Right I'm now, gonna, yeah. right now, I'm, I'm gonna drinking. Cry. Right, right now, I'm drinking a potting that we're going to be releasing in a few weeks' time. Uh, well, no, in a while, uh, not not in a few weeks, and it's actually better. So, 
thankfully we don't have to worry about it next time. We can worry about it the time after that. But the next time we're okay as well. <laughs> oh, here, I, I like, I'm liking that. Um, where's, is Ben going to come in? Because that's the last one I really need to be chatting to. Um, I know, he, he said he's on, but he's only able to do it. Ben, ben owns, owns Single Cask cool. in London. Right. He's a good Brian dad. He was in a minute ago, was he? And he's, he, he's headed on. Um, yeah. Like Richard, it, it has to end at some point. Fair play, Richard. Um Look, it, it is a bit like losing a good friend. But look, seeing them all together, it's been, you know, it's nice doing a side-by-side -side pairing. Um, for those that have not had the opportunity, there will be an opportunity to do a side-by-side -side pairing um, during Paddy's week. So if people if people really um, are really missing out, there's going to be a Paddy's box for Belfast Whiskey Week, Paddy's weekend. So the Paddy's weekender, which is taking place, we've got three boxes of Irish whiskey, one of them which includes all of these uh, colognes uh, in the one box, which will be very interesting. Hopefully, people, you know, people will will get the chance to taste them all side by side. Yeah, good idea, eh, Brendan. Uh, well What's done. Even What's even better is there's obviously there's a wee sneaky one in there. Oh man. Oh, the Belfast Whiskey Week. Oh wow! Yeah, so you you'll get you'll get to have that as well, and That's we'll probably cool throw in yeah. we'll probably be throwing in the first watching as well. So. We'll be thrown in the first watch. We've got the seven bonded experimentals, yeah, seven bonded experimentals. We've got yeah. the Irish, uh, the, the Belfast Whiskey Week uh, Festival bottle, which will go into it, and we will also have uh, the first potching uh, released in there as well. So yeah, so like um, people will get the chance to to, to 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 taste this if they haven't had the chance already. Um, listen, Brendan, anything else you want to say? Is there something you want to chat about? No, thanks very much, Belfast Whiskey Week, Belfast Whiskey Club, for for you know doing us this fantastic honour to, to just let us get the word out and, and to, to talk to people at random. It's something we're going to do for the going forward is just people here appreciate Cologne, just interact yeah. with them as much as possible because they are who they are us. We're in a home with them, so yeah. And I yeah. think this this is definitely for me. You know, we're, we're probably still going to see lots of restrictions. It's definitely got a lot more of this kind of chit chat. You know, so it's important to, to, to talk to just everybody and as many people as we can and bring them on and, 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 and get that feedback. Look, I really appreciate it. I really want uh, I really want people, if they are really interested in the, the Cologne uh, distillery and the brand and everything else going forward, then, you know, there's Connor. Uh, Connor, right. Do you know what? We have to bring him in just before, he, just before we head away. Are you ready? Connor, back up here. I'm going to bring you in. Connor, in you come. What's happening, Brandon? Keep well. Connor, how are you doing? Good, good. That, that's the first time I've had a cologne whiskey. Yes. Tonight. Come on, Connor. What did you make of it? Welcome in. Um, first, first impressions of what hit me was the it was very hot straight away. So that usually would turn me off. Where it actually worked the other way when I was drinking more of it, I was wanting that heat. So in that way, it was good in terms of the, the experience in the mouth. In the cheeks, it was a uh, licorice, definitely licorice, dark licorice. licorice. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. And when Paul said rhubarb, I got gooseberry, sharp, sharp um, fruit. So there was, some, there was a bit of sharpness to it. So it was excellent, excellent. Um, you get, you get those, those, those uh, fruits, that, that comes, I think, from... From the coolie stock, you know, the gooseberry, it's like white flesh that you would get in, like, in an apple as well. It's quite similar, you know, except it's a little bit more bitter this time. So uh, yeah, that's where I think it's coming from. It yeah, my, yeah, grand yeah. Used, my grand used to be a farmer up near Down Patrick, and he would have had a fruit field. And that's the, the sort of experience when I said gooseberry. I was yeah. going back to picking the berries at a certain time of year. It's a wee bit bitter. Oh, very bitter. The gooseberries are bitter. <laughs> Yeah, it is. That, that, that's I, good. It's I have a feeling, and it's actually my intention that this whiskey can be quite divisive. You know, some people will love it, and some people won't. It might mm -hmm. be far too much wood spice in there for some people. Uh, but that's what we want. That's what I want. Um, I like I like whiskies that are going to create discourse and disagreement, nearly. And as long as enough people like it, I'm happy enough. You know, and uh, but yeah, for, for people who are into whiskey. Like I haven't drank whiskey properly for a couple of years now. People mm. in the whiskey will li really like this because there's a lot going on, especially after. 
after mm-hmm. about about half a, half a minute after, you can still get the flavours. Yeah, Connor. For yeah, those who don't know who you are, uh, obviously your name's on the screen, but you're 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 uh, you're famed around Belfast. People now, you know, uh, if they if they visited Belfast or you know as a tourist or they've come up or you know maybe seen you on the Instagram stuff now. Connor, tell people what you do because uh, the fact that you're on here tonight is a bit of crack. You know what I mean? But I think that you know you, you do. You're presenting, and it, which is really nice. A, a, you know, in some sense, you're presenting a little bit of history for what whis- you know whiskey was in Belfast. I'm appreciating that, Connor. You know. Yeah. Um. About five years ago, I set up a tour company. Um. I'm a tour guide now, but there there is a focus towards the the whiskey history of Belfast, um, especially around Dunville's. So the history of Dunville's was what I really got into, into when I was starting a tour guide. But even finding out about Jury's whiskey recently, and the sort of the hidden bottles, and McConnell's coming back. Do you know, there's a lot happening. Um, it's exciting. And yeah. even with the guests coming from Russia, Germany, um, Canada, South, Amer- or South Africa, all these strong whiskey-loving countries are coming here and they're coming here for stories and um, there's so much stories within the whiskey world as we know so keep her up yeah keep her left yeah that's good lad, good lad. Keep her yeah, so belfast belfast hit belfast hidden tours and for people belfast who, hidden tours but we go to county down as well so may get in touch with uh, Brett and soon you go to county down half of belfast is county down i think you use other but you yes. seem to forget that <laughs> Belfast is all cultures. At the end of the day, we all came in from the countryside. So half of the city isn't County Down. <laughs> you cross the river and it's County Down. Oh, I, 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 yeah, I good, good point. Good point. Sorry. Cross the river. That's where it's defended. Well done, exactly. Brenton. The lot. The, and it's the, the farts the in the, the city centre, not the. Not the <laughs> red takes you to County Down. But even even Belfast itself is Belfast, is made from the sandbanks. So the the name comes from the rivers. And we all yeah, know the first whiskey, the water, water of life. So it's all connected. Yeah. Connor, you're a man, Connor. storyteller. You're a we look forward to that. He, he, Connor, these are live. What's live that? from on top of the fridge. What is that? Well, I'm, I'm on the, I'm on top of my fridge. Is in the living room, getting the house done ah. up at the moment. Yes. It's just a lot. The last guy was in his kid's bedroom, and I just thought, well, I'll go live from top of the fridge. <laughs> Listen, you're, you're, you're just right. Listen, you're spoiling us, Connor. Thanks, Connor. Connor. We'll get speak to you. Pleasure. Later soon, right. We'll see you later. Okay. Good morning. Thanks, yeah. Snow. Bam. Ah, great. Ah, Connor. Good crack. Good crack. Listen, I'm glad you had him on there. Good mix of people today. Listen, here. Have you seen? Have you, uh, I do <laughs> implore people to go and have a look and find Belfast Hidden Tours because some of the stuff, the wee gems, the wee yeah. nuggets of information is just absolutely cracking. Do you know I mean so yeah. big fan of that. I, I've known Connor for a long time. We met well outside of the whiskey industry, well outside of that. And do you know what? The guy's a heart of gold and, and he, he and he's and he's built himself as someone who in Belfast now knows his stuff about you know what's going on, the history, the heritage. He talked about Jury's whiskey there, which I thought was really interesting. Um, That's great. And, and yeah, what's I mean, what, what is that? People just don't, you know, we don't talk about those brands. We don't talk about these really old whiskies that used to be uh, you know, surrounding us here in Belfast. But if Belfast was the mecca of Irish whiskey, I mean, we need to we need to be making a stand up here and bring it back, you know. So that's what it's all about. Bring it back. It was a powerhouse. It it was a powerhouse. Yeah, powerhouse. And yeah. It was Dublin and Cork. And yeah. the Dublin and Cork still are powerhouses, but Belfast isn't. Exactly. So we need to bring, exactly. We need to bring have, Belfast back. Dublin and Cork have, have lots of liquid flowing. We need that happen yeah. here. Right, we need that happen here. So listen, Brendan, I've had some crack. Cologne is doing what it should be doing, which is making some good stuff. I cannot genuinely cannot wait for you know for it, the new series, the Potion series. But I really am looking forward to keep on tasting those, you know, new makes coming through. Really love the idea, and again, I want to keep saying this. And for good people might not know Brendan, but the non-GI, the GI compliance, like you are, you are working. Hard to provide some really good insight into, you know, what pots, you know, for for first of all, what this potching can be, but for what these pot stills can be, and for what these malts can be, you're really making an effort, and I really pr- appreciate that. I'm sure there's a lot of people mm-hmm. who really appreciate that story, that kind of aspect of it. Mm-hmm. 
that's all down the line. And it's going that that's the story we're going to be pushing to the fore very, very soon. Once again. But yeah. It's good. Well. Listen, thank, 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 thank you for me. the guests that came on. So Gillian, Jim, uh Ben who didn't say anything, Shane, Mick Dwyer, John, uh Connor, uh Val. Absolutely great to have people on. Marika, um, well. yeah. yeah, there we go. Uh, great to have people on for the, for the chat. Uh, and we'll certainly look. We'll certainly keep doing it. You know, keep having those conversations uh, with people. All right. Good night, everyone. And hopefully, you all got a bottle. All right. Speak to you soon. I hope you got a bottle, of Paul. <laughs> no. Oh, I know. You when you're doing this, you can't buy, can you? Sorry. A friend at hand better get some. That friend at hand shop better get some, and I better be able to go in and purchase some. Not me. So. Ah. No bother. Do you know what? No I need some for for tastings. So it needs to be done. Listen. Thank you much. <laughs> Slow.